Ladies and gentlemen, kings and queens, welcome back to another video. And today I'm gonna have another reaction video. So PlayStation just dropped um, The Last of Us Part 1 Rebuilt for the PS5. It's a trailer, a long trailer, um, talking about the features in the gameplay of the game and pretty much talking about like remaking the game, why they remade the game, and the visions of what they wanted you know, minus the limitations of the PS3 back then. So we're gonna dive on in. If you don't know, The Last of Us is one of my favorite games of all time. Such a great game. Naughty Dog is an amazing company that makes great games. So shout out to them. Let's get started. <clears throat> all right, let's see what they got for us. I'm coming. First of all, to see some of this gameplay, because this is this looks so good. Like it's just amazing to see some of this gameplay. Wow, <laughs> it's like classic scenes from the first game. So this is like the first time we're seeing like the way how it looks right now. It's crazy nice. Wow. And two years ago, when we were finishing Last of Us Part Two. And we're working on those flashbacks within that scene for the first game. We got excited with the idea of like, oh man, what if we made The Last of Us Part 1 to look as good, if not better, than what we have done with Last of Us Part 2, which we really pushed the boundaries of like what we can do from gameplay and a graphical standpoint. And felt like if we do that, we could actually come even closer to our original vision of what the first game would have been had we not been constrained by technology. Oh, snap. Yeah. Like so, like, there's this new game coming out. Uh, they they're coming out with um The Last of Us Part One, uh, revealed from the ground out on PS5 September second, and there's a little controversy about it being seventy dollars, which is crazy. Um, I feel like it should be forty or fifty if you owned the game on your account before. Like if they can go in your account and like if you had if you owned the game before. The game should be like forty, fifty dollars. Um, I think the game should be seventy only if they include like a remastered version of The Last of Us Part Two onto the disc as well. You know what I'm saying? This is my opinion. Original creative vision of The Last of Us, I think, in a lot of ways, was larger than what the PlayStation Three was capable of. The tech of the PS5, it's like an open box of, of tools and goodies that we can play from and draw from. The 4K, oh, HDR, nice looks, improved haptics, 60 frames, help oh, us to reimagine so The Last of Us. Oh, it gave us opportunities God. to rebuild our characters at the highest fidelity. Wow. Not only are the characters more detailed, I mean down to the, the irises and the pupil depth. You know, you fall into the eyes right. of the characters. Aside from that, that the facial animation is just way more believable. Like all the nuances, all the little subtle reactions, glances, glares, looks. right? Like you get all of it almost closer to sort of the original performances. So no matter what you stick to me, my glue, my glue, my glue, my glue. Got it. good, good. Oh, we snap. Are able now I didn't even know he did that part. Me. My glue, my glue, my. Um, this is the guy. Uh, he did, he did. Um, Miles Morales in Spider Man. I didn't even know he was he was Sam in this in this game. That is crazy. It glue, looks so much good, better. Good. We are able now to not only just have the highest fidelity characters in the cutscene, but also in gameplay. It's the same character, so now we can do these seamless transitions in and out. Every part of the game has benefited from seamless transitions and emotional scripting. Oh, pretty good, huh? Our stories happen in gameplay, on a stick. She knew my mom. All this stuff is designed to keep you constantly in this world. Riley, come here! No, you got this, go! Wow. It's so good to see these, like, uh, not like one of the we haven't seen it things that the PlayStation 5 is really enabling 
is that oh. we're able to have a density of physics objects in a scene that we're just, we could never do before. Like this has always been <laughs> the dream is to have this number of bumpables, chippables, breakables, destructible objects in a scene. It just makes the world feel rich. It makes it feel lived like, in. Change a few things. Oh. The materials kind of have the properties that you'd expect. The nice. In, Yo. in Pittsburgh, when it's firing at you and it's just ripping apart the concrete and sending objects flying left and right that is awesome great. bro like there's fear there's a real fear like, i don't even i don't even think the last of us like part two because the last of us part two was still made on the ps4 it didn't even have these capabilities that's why i feel like they should have remade the game or re remastered the game and then add these features if they could have like it would, it would have been awesome fear that it invokes and it's giving us a much more dynamic range of gameplay to play with this scene was amazing our AI tech has just increased incredibly. Wow. What we were building the basis off of was The Last of Us Part II's AI. And it has sophisticated <laughs> systems for things like the fundamental knowledge model of how these NPCs perceive and understand what the player is is much more sophisticated. Oh. Oh. Now how the enemies are communicating with each other, how they're chasing you, how they're flanking you, how intense that fight feels. It's so much more rewarding coming out of it from the other side. Oh yeah, I hope they change some of the like punch and kick animations. Wow. One of the other big AI improvements is the buddies. They the really buddies made technology that we developed for The Last of Us Part Two has this very sophisticated understanding of like, okay, this is where the enemies can see their exposure. We not only have exposure, we have future exposure. So buddies can know, okay, that enemy is walking forward and they're about to round this corner. So in three seconds, that corner is going to be exposed. So I'd better move now to avoid this enemy seeing me. This really lets the buddies make very complex exactly. decisions and maintain. Yo, because back in the day, in the, when we used to play the, uh, the Last of Us, the first one on PS3, like your partner, like Ellie, for example, used to, <laughs> used to literally be in the vision of the enemies and and like the enemies just pretend that she's not there because you're the player so it's just like but it just seems so like unrealistic like yo didn't they just see ellie like it's so crazy but they definitely fixed that in part two um and it looks like they made it even better in this one the ps5 is just an amazing console in that <coughs> feeling of stealth much more believably Another big enhancement to the gameplay is that we have this technology called motion matching. Motion matching is this technology that's basically using logic that tries to match the desired movement to a bucket of hundreds of animations. A mocapped actor has gone in and run this whole gauntlet of movements to get a really full set of all the different ways a person can move. And then it's basically every frame trying to find the best matching animation that fits the path of where the character is going to go. And this motion model just gives this really seamless sense of transition. The player's movement is just a lot cleaner. It's this really smooth organic movement through the space. First, we wow. just have to build that core experience. And then beyond that, we wanted to add uh, several features that fans have been asking for. Like what? For example, we now have a permadeath mode. Oh. Along that, we've added a brand new speedrun mode, so players can time themselves. There's a whole community of gamers that just want to see how fast they can play through this game. Beyond that, we added a bunch more of unlockables. So there's all these different outfits for Ellie and Joel that uh, people can unlock. Nah, no, that's awesome. A model viewer mode, so people could really appreciate the Damn. details. We added award-winning accessibility features. Every single accessibility yes. option that we offer, that's a barrier removed for someone. Facts. As she surveys the apartment, her eyes wander to Joel. She steps past the couch. He wears the wristwatch Sarah gifted him, which now has a cracked wow. face. To my knowledge, this is the first PlayStation game that has audio description built into the game, built into the cinematics. That is awesome. Now it's nighttime. Joel stirs in his sleep. And that's really the way we've tried to push the frontier of accessibility on this game. That is awesome, though. Joel looks great in this game. Wow. So much of the identity of The Last of Us is the world. We revamped completely the art direction. You know, everything from these expansive vistas that not only are they beautiful, but you feel the environment. You feel the environment in a much more visceral way. The rooftops overlooking the Capitol building, for example, that's just the, the breath of fresh air when you go up there and you just like, you feel that sort of release in, in tension. 
and then you know to juxtapose that down in the, the tunnels the wilds and you get that dank flooded tunnel feel that humidity you can actually feel it all these environments are just completely reimagined Yo. now we got our engine on the ps5 those haptics the 3d audio the fast loading it really creates a much more immersive and because of that much more emotional experience. One of the things I absolutely love with the 3D audio in The Last of Us Part 1 is being able to hear an enemy before they sneak up on you. Right. And trying to do a, a, a stalker fight with the 3D audio is just so much fun. You're hearing them skitter around in a different room and you're hearing them trying to get up behind you. <laughs> Having that two-part reaction of like hearing, turning, seeing, reacting, it, it's that just awesome. really heightens that sense of just being grounded. Yeah, I remember you are this in this character, you are in this world. Oh my god. Wow. Now, with the PlayStation 5, the amount of control that developers have over the dual sense, it's really, really cool. All the guns in the game have a variable amount of resistance on the triggers when you aim them. The way it works with the bow is that at the very beginning, when you're starting to draw the bow, there's a little bit of resistance. And then as the bow gets tauter and tauter, the amount of resistance is increasing. And then when you release the bow, you're also getting that resistance going out of the trigger. When you are aiming and firing the shotgun, you're going to get a haptic vibration on the shot. And then what I think is one of the ways that the DualSense really advances things is you're going to get a haptic vibration on the pump of the shotgun. And what's much more sophisticated about that on the DualSense is that in effect has a little like speaker in it. <laughs> and it's playing an, an audio file that comes through in the vibrations. And those two beats is what you're going to feel on the controller. Spot. This also ties in to the new workbench animations. So oh, if you're they, seeing Joel. Oh my god. So they added the um the workbench um stuff. Wow, that is awesome. They did a good job with this. I still don't think it's worth seventy dollars though. Especially since the original was sixty on the PS3 and remastered on the PS4. I say fifty bucks. You know what I mean? I would prefer 40, but 50 bucks, like fine. 50 bucks, should, this game should be 70 if they remaster and add all of these features and like haptic feedback on part two. That would that would make a lot of sense to me. Or taking a gun, or screwing something in, or putting a new stock on a gun. That, that is moment crazy. where he's like jamming that on, you're gonna get that haptic feedback on that. We have, you know, haptics all across the board, you know, for all the moments you kind of expect for clambering, jumping, landing, meleeing, getting melee, like all those kind of high intensity I like that you have, have, you have different animations. Represented in the haptics. Nice. What I personally absolutely adore is the way we can enhance the really like quiet, subtle moments of gameplay. So it's like when Joel goes in oh. to pet the giraffe getting that little light touch on the haptics as he's petting the giraffe. Wow. To me, that's the essence of The Last of Us. It's the high tension moments, it's the low tension moments, it's all of it feeling grounded. It's your feeling immersed in this world. It's all about bringing you along with that story in as many ways as we can. And that's what the new technology on the PlayStation 5 is allowing. I like that we saw a lot more gameplay. We saw a lot more things. Jury's still out. There's something special about that core experience of playing as Joel and Ellie on this journey. And to take that experience and really honor it and keep their authenticity. Facial expression, bro. But elevate it in every way possible, whether it's pipeline, whether it's art direction, whether it's a technology, everything that allows us to make that experience better. Not different, extremely better. That's why, to me, this is the definitive way to play The Last of Us. Oh, yeah. That was, wow, that was awesome, bro. Wow, that was amazing. Wow. Wow, well, that was great to watch. It was a nice length, 10-minute video that really, like, went in depth, giving us the features in the gameplay and explaining the vision that they had for it now that they have the technology capable to kind of expand and have dynamic things about it really cool um i'm really looking forward to playing this game september 2nd i really want to play it 
I just have my own personal opinion about not wanting to spend seventy dollars for a game that I that I paid for in two thousand thirteen on the PS three, then paid for it again on the PS four remastered. You know, it's free now on the PS five currently the remastered version, so anyone can play right now. You don't necessarily need to spend seventy dollars to experience the the game. And then now they bring in the remake of it, which it's going to be the best way of playing the game. It's going to be an amazing game, but it's like to pay a full seventy dollars, in my opinion, is just unfair. Now, if you're a new person that never played this game before, and under your PlayStation account you don't have this game at all, like at least the PS3, PS4 remastered version, like at all, like you, like there's no history of you paying for it, then you should pay the seventy dollars because it's like a, it's a brand new game for you. But it definitely should have something where it could sense if a user had the game already and it's like, you know, 50 bucks, 40 bucks, in my opinion. But anyways, um, comment, share what you think about the game. Are you interested in buying the game? Do you think the game should be $70? Do you think they should add The Last of Us Part 2 remastered with all the features that they added in Part 1 now? Do you think that should be packaged to at least make the $70 worth it? You know what I'm saying? Tell me your opinions. Like, share, comment, tell your friends. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Laters.